guys, it's Jessica from Peace Sub Books, and today I'm here with a book haul for you. I have too many books, and I know there was recently discussion going on about consumerism on BookTube, but um, I like to buy books, and I typically buy them on sale or used, and so most of these are books that I got for two or three dollars, so um, I'm not spending like a ton of money on books. I'm still spending a lot of money on books, but I am growing my collections of historical romance, and there's some books that I were new releases that I was excited for. I think I only bought, though, like two or three books full price, and the rest of these are all used books or gifts or from the publisher. So I'm already going to acknowledge that I'm not going to stop buying books, even though I tell myself every book haul I'm going to stop. I'm not, but... The first thing I have to share with you is a Hello Lovely box from Becca, from Hello Lovely. I did receive two mugs. They're not here. I just sat down, so I don't feel like going to get them, but they're really pretty, and check out her shop for her mugs. They're gorgeous. I got Read Romance Stay Saucy. It's actually like a sauce container for your car. It clips into the air conditioning vent, and then you put your sauce on here, and you can eat while you drive, which is really fun. I have a hat that says Proud of Romance Reader, which I'm very excited for. I've a lot of people have these on. I know I gotta bend the hat, but that's cute. I'm really excited for her new pouches that she has. So there's this one that says, looking for a book to rip my heart open. This is her angsty one. So we have whiskey, heartbreak, star-crossed, angsty books, long nights. I love my angsty books, so I had to have this one. And then we have the one that says, read more romance. And then on the back it says, romance, kissing books, feminism, love is love, happy endings. Very excited for those. Also, there was a really cute pillowcase, which I can't wait to put a pillow inside of. Live in that bookish life. I love it. Then in this one, I did get a t-shirt and it says one more chapter over and over and over again. And I just really love this color. It kind of matches. I'm, this is Hello Lovely <laughs> as well. If you can't tell, I'm obsessed with Hello Lovely. I wear their merch literally all the time. It's my favorite. She has a new Halloween kind of um, shirt coming out that says like, bury me next to my TBR. <laughs> I'm really excited for that. She also sent me a chapstick, which she sends a lot of. She likes to work with Delight Naturals. It smells delicious. Oh my gosh. It is a lip and cheek tint. It smells so fruity and I love it. I love fruity smelling things, so that's delicious. And then she also sent me their surprise box of the month. So she does have a surprise box subscription that you get every month. And it's got an item and then it does have a chapstick and it has um, two ebooks. So this one comes with this chapstick and they're, they have like fun designs now. So it's a girl reading and this one is Blueberry Lemonade. Mmm, I told you guys I like fruity. Another fruity. And then I do know what the item is here because I saw it spoiled, but it's wrapped up super cute and it's very adorable. So, oh, and it has a bunch of stickers in these boxes too. So this one has nicely wrapped. There they are. Oh, and it came with a pin as well. Oh, so cute. The pin says read more romance. There's a sticker that says proud romance reader and then read for the H-E-A, which is the hell happy ever after. I almost said hello lovely. Oh, oh, I'm so, okay, I'll show you that stuff in a second. So the books we get is Hot Brothers Best Friend Rules by Vivian Wood, who I've never heard of before. Typically, I know one author and not the other. I love that cover. The codes are all on the back for you to download the ebook. And then Broken and Screwed by Tijin. I have read a few Tijin books. I don't know how I feel about them. I haven't read her contemporaries, though. I've, I've read one contemporary, and then I read her mafia ones. So I'm excited to try out more contemporary. But these look really good. And then I'll show you guys these up close. There we go. This is the pin. And then we have, this is one of the stickers, which is super cute. And then this one is the other sticker. The last item in here is a tote bag, which I think is so fun. It's a big tote bag. It says romance, binge read, up all night, epic love, all the feels. I love it so much, and I think it's really cute if you want to take it to the library. I should be taking this to Half Price Books because I get a bag every time I go there, and I don't need a bag every time I go there. So I am in love with everything in here. Becca's amazing. Her products are amazing. Now we're on to the books. So 
Oh, I have my code P15 if you ever want to use it on anything in Hello Lovely Shop. It's down below. I've got a lot of books to share with you, so I'm going to go ahead and get to it. So I'm not going to spend too much time on synopses and stuff because I've got like literally five piles next to me. But the first thing is my pre-order for a Polycon for Monica James came. I pre-ordered the entire... Um, I don't even remember what this series is called. I call it the Bad Saint series, but these are all signed to me, and I pre-ordered these back in March, and she hasn't been able to send them because she lives in Australia, but she finally sent them, and she sent along a copy of her anthology, which is the dark romance anthology she did after someone's book was banned on Amazon for being too dark, and so this has some of my favorite authors. It's got Gianna Darling, Cora Riley, Monica James, Willow Winters, all that fun stuff. Ammo Jones is in here as well, so I can't wait to read this. And then she also sent this really fun um, magnet pack, and it's Australia. So I think that's super cute. Thank you, Monica, for sending this to me. I love her so much, and I'm excited about this. The next one came in my July Illumicrate. I'm a rep for them, and that is Seven Devils by Elizabeth May and Laura Lamb. And it is sci-fi. All I know is, like, they're resisting, and they're rebels. It's pretty... I'm excited to have this. The next few were sent to me from the publisher. So I have these four and I believe another one that got lost somewhere because it's a mass market and I put it somewhere else. But we do have the really pretty, it is The Wrong Mr. Darcy by Evelyn Lozada with Holly Lawrence. Lawrence? It's obviously Pride and Prejudice inspired. She's a writer for a small town newspaper and she wants to be a sports journalist and she gets to interview a basketball superstar. So I think her and that basketball player are going to fall in love but like not like each other at first. That sounds really cute. We do have two by Frances Ray. So um, it is All That I Need and With Just One Kiss. And it's a Grayson Friends novel. Those are those two. I don't know what these two are about, but they look like contemporary, maybe women's fiction. There's those. Then we have The Love Scam by Mary Janice Davidson. This is about a woman. She has to take this bachelor to Venice to meet his seven-year-old child, daughter, that he never knew he had, and she, like, takes him there to make sure he meets her, and I think they fall in love along the way, so that should be interesting. I do love a good traveling romance, so... Sounds exciting. Okay, the next few I did by myself. So the first two I went to Barnes & Noble because Christina Forrest's new release came out and I had to buy it. It's Now That I Found You and this one is about a woman. Well, she, I think she's a teenager. She's an actress and something happens that kind of ruins her reputation and so she wants help from her grandmother who was a huge actress in her day and I think they're trying to track her grandmother down and this guy ends up helping her. I'm super excited to read this. And then I also decided to pick up Practice Makes Perfect by Pin Tip Dunn. The cover caught my eye. So this says, dating takes a rom-com twist. They, they're two girls and they're sisters. They're Asian American, they've never been allowed to date. And now their parents are like, why aren't you engaged yet? So they <laughs> vow to not marry for the next 10 years until they've had a lot of dating practice. So her parents insist that their youngest daughter practice fake dating in high school. So, I think they, like, set him up with a bunch of people to date. It sounds really cute. I'm excited to read that. <laughs> then, because it was, like, $5 on Amazon, because I ordered a different book, I got a gift card. So I did order Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. That's already put away. I forgot that was part of this. And this as well. I bought A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire um, by Jennifer Armitrout. Didn't even remember to put this in my book haul. I got this because it just came out, and it's book two in the series, Vampires, Werewolves all that fun stuff. I'm excited to read that. But I also got Lovely War by Julie Berry. It was literally like $5 for this paperback and everybody's been asking me to read it on Pick What I Read Next and it almost won this month. So do you know it's historical? So it says it takes place during World War One and Two, and it has to do with the gods, Aphrodite. That should be really fun. The next one was sent to me by Carrie over on Instagram. I will link her Instagram and her channel down below. I can't remember off the top of my head her channel name, but it's linked down below. She bought a huge lot of historical romances and has been unboxing them and giving them away, so check her out. She did send me this book along with some mass markets, which I'll get to later, but this is Alec McKenzie's Art of Seduction by Jennifer Ashley. She knows I love Jennifer Ashley, so she sent this my way. It is, I think, self-published, so it's like a matte paperback. I'm excited to have this. And then I was sent Mad and Bad Real Heroines of the Regency. This is by Bea Koch. Koch? 
I don't know how to say that last name, but she is one of the co-owners of The Rip Bodice. This is nonfiction about women who were compelling. <laughs> so this says there were many compelling women who didn't fit history books limited perception of what was historically accurate for the time period. So these are standard breaking women. It sounds really fun. I'm excited to read this. Then I'm going to have a giveaway on my Instagram soon. I was sent a copy of The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu, and then I was sent book two, which is The Lost Book of the White. I already own this in hardback, so I'm going to give this away on my Instagram soon, but I'm excited for book two as well. These follow Magnus and Alec, who are my two favorite characters in this series, so I'm excited to have these. Stack one of five is done. So the next few, I'm not going to say the synopses of any of these historical romances. Carrie, along with the Jennifer Ashley, sent me four Robin to heart books which are super pretty we have deliciously wicked tempted at every turn a study in scandal and courting claudia they're all really pretty and i'm excited to have them and then on ebay i decided to get some heather graham books because i got some at half race books and they're in my last stack so i'll get to that later i got runaway which has this step back i don't remember which one of these is in the series i needed i think it was runaway i needed book one because i bought books two and three then we have and one war gray very pretty. I did find a perfect copy of Any Duchess Will Do by Tessa Dare. This one is the second book, I believe, in the Spindle Cove series. The first book was just okay. I gave it three stars, so I didn't buy the first book while I was there. They had it. But I'm like, stop buying books you don't like just to have it. So I didn't. And I've heard it gets better, so I'm excited for this one. So the next one is two books in one, and that is Welcome Home by Nora Roberts. The first story, it's very confusing. It says there's this novelist who is boarding at his, her mother's I don't know, house, whatever she has. Maybe she has an inn. Um, and she immediately decides to go to her hometown because she thinks that he's going to break her mother's heart. And then he ends up uh, falling in love with her. So that should be interesting. And then the next book actually takes place in Hawaii. So I'm excited for that. I don't know how long the stories are, but two stories in one. This was sent to me from St. Martin's Press. All right, the next few were also sent to me. So I did get a finished copy of Perfect Wreckage by Katherine Cowles. Sorry, it's still in its like little paper. Very pretty. So the synopsis is very like vague. <laughs> so I think she like was always told to stay for away from men and then found a guy she liked. That's what it sounds like. But the author also sent me this really cute pouch with my name on it to match. So I'm very excited to have these. Then Simon Teen sent me a bunch of books. I already put one in my classroom. It's Sia Martinez and The Moonlight something. It was really good. I'd already read it, so I put that in my classroom. And then we have Don't Ask Me Where I'm From by Jennifer De Leon. We have Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger, which is also illustrated, is what it says on the front. So that's really cool. So we have like pictures in here as well. This is middle grade, so I'll probably end up putting this in my classroom. I also have Where We Are by Allison McGee. This has to do with someone in a cult, so that's very interesting. I think it says she loves poetry and he is in a cult. Very interesting. And then one I'm really excited for is a graphic novel. And I don't read a lot of graphic novels, but I'm excited to read this and then have it in my classroom for my kids to read. I think a lot of my guided reading kids will really enjoy it. It is Beetle and the Hollow Bones by Eliza Lane. The art in here is so adorable and it just screams fall to me. So I'm really excited to read this. I don't know what it's about. It doesn't have a synopsis on the back, but... So this just says, in the eerie town of Allos, some people get to be magical sorceresses while other people have their spirits trapped in the mall for all ghastly eternity. Sounds really cute. Now we have a lot of historical romances. The first one, the author sent it to me. I'm super excited. It is A Duchess a Day by Cheris Michaels. I posted about it on Instagram. She reached out and said she'd love to send me an arc, which I freaked out about. This comes out in November, and our main character has to marry someone she doesn't want to marry. So this guy is hired to escort her to go to the, her betrothed. He's a huntsman. He's already done it once, and it went badly escorting someone somewhere. And um, I believe they fall in love with each other. So it's kind of like a bodyguard historical romance, and I'm so excited. And then she also sent along this cute pouch with some stickers and a nail file, which is really fun. Then on eBay, I bought a Judith McNaught lot. So I have Every Breath You Take, which I believe is actually contemporary. So I'll have that. I also got Almost Heaven. I bought this lot though because I wanted a Kingdom of Dreams with the step back. It's so pretty. I'm excited to have this. And then I also got Once and Always in that lot. And then I um, have another issue with myself in my book buying. I decided I want to buy Harlequin 
romances. And so I was sent one to review. I was sent Tudor Christmas Tidings by Blythe Gifford and it's also by two other authors. There's three stories in here. This comes out in November. It is a Tudor era historical romance with um, Christmas involved. I'm very excited to read this but I also decided to buy a bunch from them. So I bought um, eight, well technically nine, but one was a duplicate so I have a giveaway on my Instagram right now so check that out books from Harlequin. So I did get Ruthless Pride. I'm not going to say what these are about. I don't have time for that, but I have Temporary Wife Temptation, Stolen by the Viking, Forbidden Lust, Insatiable Hunger, another copy of Forbidden Lust, Secret Crush Seduction, The Billionaire's Bargain, and then I went to Half Price Books and bought Off Limit Lovers from Boardroom to Bedroom and That Night in Texas. I have a problem, but you know what? At least I acknowledge it. I'm excited for those. I'm doing a reading vlog for them, so keep your eyes out for that. The next one's a Christmas romance I was sent from Avon, and it is A Princess for Christmas by Jenny Holiday. This one I'm very excited for. I know Lisa from Remarkably Lisa loves Jenny Holiday's books. I read one of her bridesmaids books, and it was really cute. This one, our main character is a princess, and she falls in love with a cab driver, and so she's like a damsel in distress when she gets into his car, and he's so nice to her, and she asks him to drive her around for the rest of the night. It says he doesn't expect to start longing for the unpredictable Marie. So that sounds cute. The next book I received from the publisher, I actually received this really fun box from Simon Teen and immediately looking at the art, I knew it was by the authors of Five Feet Apart. So they did send me All This Time by Rachel Lippincott and Mickey Daughtry. I always forget the second author, but this one, so this one's about Kyle and he is dating Kimberly and they're the perfect couple. She drops a bomb on him and then she ends up dying in a car crash that he's in as well, but he wakes up and then I think in the hospital he meets Marley. I'm assuming. Their paths cross and then they end up falling in love, I think. So it sounds very, very emotional and sad, but I'm excited to have it and it comes out in the end of September. So I can't wait to read this one. Let's get through this. I did get a 10 book lot on eBay. So I think I divided that though. So I don't even remember what was in that lot and what wasn't, but I have The Lost Duke of Wyndham by Julia Quinn. What Happens in London by Julia Quinn. Marry Me by Susan K. Law. And this one has a really pretty backdrop. Romancing Mr. Bridgerton by Julia Quinn, which is one of the reasons why I bought this. And To Sir Philip with Love, which has that setback as well. These are very pretty. I also got a Samantha James lot and I got A Perfect Bride with this step back. I got His Wicked Promise. I got Bride of a Wicked Scotsman and it has a really pretty step back in this one. Look at that. I love it. Outlaw Heart, which I really love as well. A Promise Given and this one also has that step back. I also got a lot of Lois Germain books because Lisa hauled one and I got jealous so I wanted them as well. So we have Under Your Spell and it's because they have really pretty back covers. The Princess Masquerade. Charming the Devil. I really wanted this one. It is The Princess and the Pirate, which is in perfect condition. And then, um, Fairies Gone Wild, which I don't even know what this is about. This is a bunch of short stories by a bunch of different authors. Then the only full price historical I bought was A Rogue by Any Other Name by Sarah McLean. This one is, I believe, Hades and Persephone, so that's why I bought it. I needed it, like a retelling. At Half Price Books, I picked up some. I picked up Duchess by Night by Eloisa James. Very pretty. The next is Duke of Midnight by Elizabeth Hoyt, which I just read on audio. It is very pretty. You can't tell with her books if they have a step back or not, so you always have to check if they do. Dearest Rogue, which was one of my favorites of hers. I love this. Our heroine is deaf, and it's really good. She's actually the sister of the hero in here. Then I got to Heather Graham, and the first one is Captive. Very pretty. And then Rebel, which was my step back Saturday last week. The Silver Rose by Jane Feather. Then Jill from Instagram did send me a copy of Once in Every Life by Kristen Hanna. It's just really pretty, like, embossed couple. And then that's the step back. Very pretty. I'm in love. I also got Bledding Sorrow by Marilyn Harris. Very cool. Very, like, haunting. Gothic. Then the rest of that lot on eBay, I got Devil's Bargain by Jade Lee. White Tigress by Jade Lee. Honor by Lindsay Chase. A Wanted Man by Susan K. Law with that on the back. And then When He Was Wicked by Julia Quinn, which I already own, so I'll be giving this away soon. But that was part of the lot, so I couldn't 
divide it. But that is my haul. That was way too long, and that's what happens every time I do a book haul. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what you're excited I got and what you've received lately. I would love to hear. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye.